back to my channel and welcome to a California week in my life. We are in town visiting my family this week and I thought I would take you guys along with us because I haven't been here in a long time. Um, we have family members that haven't even met Rowan yet that we're super excited to introduce him to. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be a really fun time. I wanna mention, <laughs> um, my family is super, super private, my immediate family. And some of you guys have asked me like, oh, why are they never in your vlogs? They're like Ron Swanson levels of like, don't even have a message on their answering machine private. So they probably won't be in this vlog but I think my grandparents will um, we are going to take Rowan over there right now to meet my grandparents for the first time super excited about it I think it's gonna be really fun got lots of other fun plans this week we're gonna go to the beach we're going to go to Wizarding World of Harry Potter and I'm really excited to spend the week with you guys Rowan are you so excited to meet your Gigi he's like mom where am I this is my car seat but this is not my car Rosie, come here. Bro, you sat. Oh, yeah. Come on Who's in. Hi, so surprise. Good to see you. Oh, my so good to see you. oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. I thought I heard Hi, girl, oh, surprise. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh, I thought it was Karen. I thought I heard your mom's voice. Oh, Puppy and yeah. doggy. Is that doggy? That's Rosie. That's Rosie. The dog go. Arf, yeah. arf. A rare sighting of the uncle. This is Uncle Matthew. Hi. Uncle Matthew and Rowan Matthew. Who's got you? <laughs> we named you after your uncle. Just kidding. <laughs> it's kind of after daddy, but both. Uh, technically, I could say. You could <laughs> say. Technically. That can be your fun uncle story for the rest yeah. of your life. They named him after me. They'll be like, Uncle Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 20, 20 pounds is a lot to just hold. Look at him, he's so overstimulated, poor dude. Distract it with Rosie. He's distracted with Rosie. All the way home. Inappropriate words with the alphabet blocks. No. <laughs> Rowan's playing with all of mommy's baby toys. That was super fun. They were really surprised and Rowan loved their dog, which was so cute. He got to play with her a little bit. Um, and he even played with some toys that were mine when I was a baby, which was fun. Um, so we'll probably see them a couple more times before we go, but right now we're getting gas because we're headed to downtown Disney. We didn't want to go to actual Disneyland because that just feels a little bit too risky to us still, but we're gonna go to downtown and hang out and see my cousin Peyton, who you might remember from the birthday party vlog. And I'm super excited. Rowan will probably pick out a toy at World of Disney and it'll just be cute, fun, wholesome time.
Yeah, you like this one, huh? Okay, who will buy this one for you? Just like my father did to me. <laughs> Crying a little bit. It's Rowan's very first time at the beach. He screamed the entire 40 minute drive here. We want to get down. And it's kind of cloudy, but we're making the best of it. No eating the sand though, okay? <laughs> what is that stuff? Are you gonna take him to the water? Yeah, but the water is coming to him, so I didn't want to get him too deep in it. Okay, so we're back from the beach. It was so much fun. I think Rowan had a blast. He like played in the sand with his uncles and I got to go in the water, which was nice. It was freezing cold and I definitely majorly wiped out, but I still had a good time. And overall, I just think it went really well. You know, you never know when you introduce a baby to something like that, completely different than anything he's ever experienced before, like how it's gonna go. But I think he really enjoyed it, which made me so happy because like I'm a beach girl at heart. And now we're getting ready to do a little family barbecue at my parents' house. My grandparents parents are coming over again um, and I am gonna show them Rowan's baby book and I'm so so excited because this portion of today's video is actually sponsored by baby notebook I made Rowan's beautiful baby book with baby notebook this is what it looks like it's got all of our favorite photos of him so if you haven't heard of baby notebook before they're basically an app uh, that helps you create a really gorgeous photo book for your baby's first year and it's really cool because you put in your child's birth date and they actually send you push notifications to remind you to like complete the prompts so rather than like forgetting to do it which I was constantly doing when I was trying to do like a scrapbooked version and I was getting months behind because I wasn't remembering to do it it just sends you a push notification on your phone and you complete the prompts and then it compiles everything for you into this beautiful hardbound book. I really liked that if I got stuck <laughs> on like what to put in it, uh, it would give me little like suggestions on things I can talk about and questions to answer about his development because especially when you're going through like the sleep deprivation phase, you go to sit down to like write what's going on with your baby and everything goes out of your head because you're just like, I'm tired. I don't, I don't remember anything, but they do a really good job of kind of guiding you through it. It's a super high quality book and you guys know memories are priceless. So having this, I mean, we're going to have this for the rest of his life and I didn't have to do any cutting or pasting and like trying to glue things in straight. It was super, super easy. It's a really beautiful, modern, timeless design and it just made the process so, so easy. Even if there are some pages that you don't have enough photos for or prompts that you don't necessarily feel like resonate with you, you can change things. You can hide pages so that you're not like printing out blank pages in your book. I'll give you a quick little flip through of what Rowan's looks like. So here's the story of Rowan. I was able to personalize it and the pages are like super thick and high quality. 
And it starts with pregnancy and it had me put in all of my like little milestones and some maternity photos. It has some sections for how we found out and how we told people and pregnancy cravings, the announcement, our baby shower, which is a super fun memory. And then it also has places to write these little letters. There are three of them throughout the book so that you can write them at like different stages, like when you're pregnant. I think it's when your baby turns six months and at the end. This is one of my favorite pregnancy photos. I actually wasn't even that pregnant in this photo, but I look huge. Family tree, his nursery, our first house or apartment in our case. And then here's when he was born. Cute little newborn baby. Again, I love how clean the design of this is. It really goes with any style depending on the photos you put in it. All his little newborn photos that we took of him. And then every month you can put in some memories and some photos of them. And you have it all in one place. I feel like this is the more modern beautiful version of like the photo books that I had growing up, like in the little um, clear envelopes in the binder. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I'm absolutely in love with the way this turned out. I'm super excited to show my grandparents. Oh, what do you think? I love it. Oh, shows them right. Oh, look at his little profile. It looks like him, huh? Even oh, like the 3D. look at him. <laughs> <laughs> We're all playing some Mario Party. Rowan had a controller, but, oh, there you are. Hey, you cannot go up there. That's not for babies. Hey, Rowan. Are you having fun? Having a good time? I love you. Oh, I hate this one. I'm so bad at this game. Oh, okay. Oh, the one again. You like grandma's I lost at Mario Party. Smile, well, Gigi. <laughs> Hi. We're having fun. Gigi and Owen having dinner. Oh. oh. Mmm. Mmm. That went good. Ah. 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 <laughs> We're at brunch. We went to the uh, Snooty Fox Cafe can't really see. It's actually a really cute little like country diner, but we're sitting outside in the sun. I'm hungry. Yeah, so am I. I wonder if we're gonna get menus at some point. <laughs> no, I don't even think you are coming. Rowan's at home with the grandparents. Oh, here they come. Matt's getting his hair cut at his old barber. This place is called Dang Cuts, and they have three locations in Orange County, and they do really, really good work. And it's like super aesthetic too. Look how cute this place is. Yay! <laughs> We just got to Tustin where we used to live. We were just driving around, looking at all of our old spots, old like, grocery stores and stuff. Just kind of reminiscing, because we're almost taking a nap in the car and we wanted to let him sleep for a little bit. But now we're at Morning Lavender, which if you've been on this channel for a really long time, you might remember, used to be one of my favorite coffee shops when we lived here. Um, and there's a little boutique and cafe, so I'm gonna grab a quick coffee and then we're gonna go meet our friends. Are you excited? Yes, you can buy whatever you want at Morning Lavender. Whatever I want, mm, be careful of that. <laughs> Never bothered about what could be coming Every day we danced and life was smiling We were young and drunk in love A few years later I have started thinking If it's just love in every glass I'm drinking We're like one and without you I'm sinking I'm always shining next to you Vacationers log day. I don't know what day it is. It doesn't matter. We're on vacation. We're going to Balboa Island for the day with the family. Well, for the day. For this wake window, because everything's in wake windows, huh, Rowan? Say hi. I should just let you vlog for the day. Yeah, we're going to Balboa Island, just walk around, do some shopping, eat some ice cream. They have like the frozen banana thing there, right? Yeah. Yeah, maybe we get, get some frozen banana. This should be a beautiful day for Balboa. Hopefully it's a little cooler down on the water. But yeah. Mr. Man took a two hour plus nap, had to wake him up after sleeping in until eight o'clock this morning. Somebody's on vacation mode too. Ah. Do you have something you want to say to all your adoring fans? Can you say, dude? Good job. Anyway, it's a chill day. Might uh, 
Get some afters ice cream tonight, which will be delicious. I want to go shopping. Megan wants to go shopping. Tomorrow's Harry Potter day. Should be fun. Megan's really excited about that. She's going to spend $1,000, I'm sure. Tell him about my shirt. Tell him about her shirt. She got a... <laughs> Oh wait, the one you ordered that didn't yeah. come? So she ordered this shirt. She paid for the expedited shipping, but of course it's a weekend, so it's not coming today. It's coming tomorrow. We'll already be at the park, so. I had to order it twice because the first order didn't go through, which is why it was so late. Yeah, so we got different shirts from somewhere else. She even got me one. She got me like a Deathly Hallows one. That will be fun. I'm excited for that. Rowan's excited too. <laughs> Say hi. Or whatever it was you were saying. <laughs> yeah, good job. <laughs> I love walking around Balboa and looking at the old houses. Look at the cute little Dutch door on this one. I love the hammocks on the second level here too. Oh my gosh, look at the garden. I want this one. It's a tiki bar, but it's a boat, but it's a tiki bar. <laughs> I feel like that's 100% your vibe. Hey, Mr. Man. What do you think of Balboa? Do you like it? Going for it. Oh my god. You can have a little piece of it. Oh, it's kind of frozen, Bubba. Let's get I'm, a small piece of it. That's the term frozen banana. No, the, the freezes. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Stuff, huh? Balboa was super fun. We got frozen bananas, which you probably saw. I guess I don't really need to tell you what happened. Um, and we've been home for a while. I was reading my book. Um, I'm reading the Air Awakens series by Elise Kova right now, and it's pretty good. It's definitely like more young adult um, than new adult, but I'm still enjoying it. You're a young adult. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I feel old and irrelevant. I just turned 33 and I'm still a young adult. <laughs> You are old. I'm taking Matt uh, to a little, like, I don't know whether to call it a path or a hiking trail. It's kind of in between. She called it the fun path. So if my body turns up in a couple weeks, <laughs> like, look here first. No, she's got a pretty view. And then we're going to go to get after ice cream with a friend. The last day of our California vacation um, and we left Rome with the grandparents which is a little bit nerve-wracking because uh, this is gonna be the longest that I've ever left him for and we're at uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Universal Studios I've never been wanted to go ever since they opened the one in Florida so we put together like a little bucket list I want to drink a butter beer I want to get a wand at Ollivander's I want to take a picture in front of the castle I'm super excited how are you feeling good I'm excited Megan, I have been expecting you. 
Now, which of you want on, my darling? Your left or your right? Right. Do you open your palm for me, please? Thank you. Now, you may know that each Ollivander wand contains the core of a powerful magical substance. We use unicorn hairs, phoenix tail feathers, and the heartstrings of dragons. Thank you. No, no two Ollivander wands are the same. Just as no two phoenixes, unicorns, or dragons are quite the same, and you'll never get such good results using another wizard's wand. Which is why it is of the utmost importance, darling, that your wand should find you. Now this here is a wand of four thirteen Thirteen and a half inches long, reasonably springy, with a unicorn hair core. Try a bit of fast, yes? We'll do something very simple to start with. Yes, do you see this ladder here? I'd like you to move it closer to you. Now to do that, simply point your wand straight at it and say, Accio Ladder. Accio Ladder. try to talk fast but I got chosen at Ollivander's for the wand thing which was so much fun and like I don't know I got emotional it was like my childhood completed and now we're in the hog's head um, no three broomsticks it, they're like both one but I don't know what side we're technically on right now we're in um, the hog's head because it says in guest oh, okay yeah um, and we got bangers and which I'll show you very interesting theme park food to eat <laughs> that's about to use his wand Okay. Revelio. Oh, that's fun. Yay! Okay, first time trying butter beer taste test. Cheers. <laughs> that's exactly what I thought it would taste like. That's yeah, delicious. Mm. Perfect on a 90 degree LA day. Yeah, this is really yummy. Cheers. All right, Megan's got her butter beer. She's feeling magical. She's gonna try the incendio spell. Living my best life here, okay. Incendio. Aha! Woo! <laughs> You're a wizard, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> You're a what? We 
are wiped out. We spent pretty much the whole day at Wizarding World. It's like, what, 5.30 right now? Yeah. A little after. Six hours? We have hours? to go put Rowan in bed, so we're heading home. Um, but tomorrow all we're doing is flying out, so I think I'm going to end the vlog here. But thank you guys so much for watching and spending vacation with us. We love you a lot. Mischief managed. <laughs>